Yeah, this year 2017 in Western Canada and uh, Montana is probably going to be known as the Summer of Smoke. There's been so many fires, especially in BC. Um, usually you can see mountains in the background, but uh, you can really only see the hills and it's, a, it's actually a good day today. You can see why. Even on this Labrador tea, it's, it's really dried up, but there's so much so much dry grass uh, there hasn't been a lot of rain um, and that's why there's so many forest fires the BC forest fires got really bad in July at the Williams Lake region but gradually spread in numbers and size to include the south part of the province there were also fires in Washington State and Montana a blanket of smoke covered most of Western Canada and Northwest U.S. for over three months. It's smoking. I think it's the driest summer on record. It's got to be really disappointing for uh, people that have come up to Canada for the 150th anniversary because it's so smoky and it's so dry. You're going to miss those beautiful panoramic uh, mountain scenics you usually get all year round. Uh, it's sad. So dry. And listen to the crunch. Perfect for fire. Despite fire bans in place, grass fires in the prairie wheat belt were common, and due to high winds, spread in seconds. Fortunately, this one was contained quickly by rural firefighters before it did any major damage. But BC is no stranger to fires, as they happen every summer like this one near Kelowna a few years ago. However, extremely dry conditions and lots of fuel to burn made this year the perfect storm. In an effort to avoid the haze, I decided to go camping away from the mountains in southeast Alberta, just beyond the worst of the smoke. I found a small coulee with a healthy deer population. Looking off the bank, I found out what happened to others who had ventured a little too far. Well, the news for Alberta this year isn't just the smoke, it's the heat. This is the, uh, the southern grassland and it's September. And right now it's, if you can read that, 34 Celsius, 94 Fahrenheit. Now for Alberta that's pretty hot. It's been an unusual year. But it's got to cool down eventually. Whew. Many tourists don't realize that along with the mountains, Alberta has many arid regions complete with cactus and rattlesnakes. After a couple of days, I decided to head north.
In Calgary, things hadn't improved and air quality advisories were issued off and on all summer. But the worst I encountered was in Jasper in July, when it was so smoky it stung your eyes just stepping outside your car. As bad as forest fires seem, there are also many benefits to nature as the season ends and the forest starts to rejuvenate again. Ground vegetation that was too shaded by trees suddenly takes advantage of the light and the nutrients from the ashes and grows. Most impressive are the wildflowers. More mixed vegetation means more insects, mice, and food for predators like this fox. Even with the smoke, the landscape can take on a dreamlike quality, like a pastel sketch. But those that did venture into the mountains would still enjoy the up-close attractions, like Athabasca Falls. Without the distant views, you are enticed to look at the little attractions of the park, like these flowers clinging to the side of a cliff spring. Well, despite the smoke, it's still very peaceful and beautiful here, but uh, it is a note that if you do have a campfire, Make sure you put it out properly. Water it down, you know, stir up the ashes, make sure there's no smoke or, or hot spots because uh, one campfire out of control it can wreck a whole season. My favorite moment of the day is always at dusk as this is the time when the creatures of the night come out of their hiding spots to forage, to capture their prey, or to mingle in the darkness. Well, I hope you enjoyed this and uh, check out my other videos as well. Happy camping. <laughs>